it's an amazing situation if you look at the precipitation maps. A huge area of Western Canada, in fact, the majority of Western Canada, has had record precipitation since the 1st of April. So that's led to millions of acres unseeded. The estimate somewhere between 8 and 12 million acres unseeded. But on top of that, we continue to get rain that's drowning out a great deal of what was seeded. And that's the part that's very difficult to get a handle on. There were heavy rains, especially in southwestern Saskatchewan and southern Alberta and other areas of Saskatchewan at the tail end of last week that uh, caused extensive flooding and road damage and what everybody's heard about the, the Trans-Canada Highway being blocked and damaged and uh, the town of Maple Creek and, and uh, the city of uh, Medicine Hat flooded. But it's difficult to get a real good handle on just how much flooding of agricultural land that's produced. Well then, so first off, going to that 8 to 12 million kind of estimate that hasn't been planted. Can any of that be planted if all of a sudden it were to turn nice? That 8 to 12 million acres was an estimate made by the Canadian Wheat Board oh, about uh, a week ago. Uh, since then, we might have got a little bit more seeded here and there. Uh, so it might, you know, we might have uh, shaved a little, little bit off that estimate, but by and large, it is now too late. The crop insurance seeding deadline, the very last deadline in Saskatchewan, uh, is June 20th. But some of the deadlines were earlier than that. So for all intent and purposes, the seeding window has closed, and anything that hasn't been seeded will not be seeded now. So then, uh, out of that, I mean, what percentage is that um, across all farmland in Western Canada? I think the Canadian Wheat Board's last estimate was 78 or 80 percent seeded. Uh, in Western Canada. The last estimate from the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture was that we were 73% seeded, and that was as of Tuesday of last week. So with a little bit of luck and with a little bit of seeding going on, maybe we got up to 75%. But basically, in Saskatchewan, we're looking at roughly one quarter of the land that was intended to be seeded was not seeded, and goodness knows how many acres are flooded and won't produce a crop. And so really, and that's my next question, so really there isn't an indication as to, you know, out of that three quarters that is in the ground, how much of that is going to be, isn't going to be any good? No, and it's very difficult to say, and it's even difficult for an individual producer to say at this point, you, you've got some water lying on it and it's getting yellow in this spot, uh, is it going to dry quickly enough that that crop is going to survive or is it gone? Well, if it's under six inches of water, it's gone. But maybe it's just a light skim of water there and it dries out. Maybe, and then just exactly how big is that area in that field? So that's, that's a, you know, it's, it's tough enough for an individual producer at this point to know. So broad based estimates are, are really just pie in the sky stuff. What's the forecast for the next little while? Well, there's, uh, Southwestern Saskatchewan uh, is a severe thunderstorm watch for today, so that certainly wouldn't be helpful to have, you know, big more th uh, thunderstorms uh, creep up. But most of the longer-term forecasts say that we're unlikely to hit a prolonged dry spell anytime soon. Um, now, this run-up in um, oat and canola prices the last little while, is that... Um, easing any producers' minds, or is the producer mind, you know, worried? I mean, what are farmers thinking here? Everybody's in a different situation. There's some producers in some areas got all their crops seeded, uh, and some producers have, you know, crops in the ground that uh, are rising in price, or even crops in the bin, and the, and the, the price is rising. As you mentioned, canola has seen a good run. Oats has seen an amazing run, especially on a percentage basis. Lentils are stronger. Canary seed is stronger. Some other crops haven't moved. Barley hasn't moved. Uh, uh, field peas haven't moved. So producers are, are more optimistic if they can grow a crop. Even the ones with a crop in the ground that, that isn't flooded uh, are worried about uh, the lateness of the season and how far the crop is behind. So I, I think there's a, a lot of worry out there, but it's always nice to see prices 